Hello everybody, welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2, episode 6. So I did quite a bit of grinding in between episodes and rearranged some things. I want to give you a quick tour and show you what's going on. So this area, I had started um, kind of getting away from manually grinding trees in the last episode. Now I've converted this to kind of a little um, seeds work area. I'll be working on that a little bit today. Got um, got my wheat my yeah wheat seeds to um, expand a little bit. Working on the sugar cane now. Got one extra that I need to need to expand a little bit. Have some cactus growing, and then over here I have the uh, the chopper working on the trees. You can see it just uh, just chop one down. The flint hatchet in there is uh, is doing just fine. I'm gonna need to give it some more fuel in a few minutes. Let's see, what else has changed? Uh, the cobblestone generator is still there. I did move the lava generator, and I'll, or the crucible that was doing lava, and I'll show you where I put that in just a second. I ground down uh, a stack of gravel, stack of sand, and stack of dust, so I can sort those and get some more stuff. Got some uh, mossy stone, uh, 14 of those in there, some crop sticks, 46 of them, and uh, have a few more seeds over here. Got pumpkins and melons and carrots. Probably gonna this this episode's gonna mostly be about seeds. Um, but I do want to show you. I I set up my um, column slash elevator shaft last time, and you can see. And you can't quite see how far down it goes. Um, let's do something that's a little dangerous. Hopefully, I won't fall off. You can see I've kind of got a column of cobblestone running all the way down. That's what I did with the the lava and then putting water down on top of it. So let's go see what uh, what's going on down here. I built a little basement. Uh, so this is under the platform. That means I can get to the platform to do things like... Um, that's not quite what I had in mind. But... Now I can, for example, put a uh, little bit of a floor under that seed area. Probably useful at some point. Um, you can see here that's where the water is upstairs. And I moved the lava down here. I put lava underneath it because that will cause it to uh, cook just a little bit faster. And I set it up to, uh, to put three more crucibles in place. Um, unfortunately, I had a little lava accident and uh, lost the crucibles. So that's unfortunate. I'll uh, work on rectifying that at some point. And because of just where I put it, I put a uh, back door into the basement. Hi, Jaded. Um, so there we are. That's what I worked on in between episodes. But uh, let's let's get going. Let's do some seeds today. So if we look at the quest book, there's a couple of rewards I haven't claimed yet. Uh, purple Heart Clock, I'm not quite sure what that is. Forgetting the... It's like a... It's like a decorative object. It's kind of cool. I think I'll, uh, yeah, that's not a great place for it. I definitely don't want it back there. Come on. There we go. All right, I'm going to have to find a, a good place to put that, because that, that thing just, just looks cool. Um... That's kind of neat. All right. So, what else was unclaimed? We've got some more th uh, things available here. Work on those at some point. We also have, uh, we didn't collect the Lumberjack quest. I get some salmon. Toss that in with the, uh, the food and seeds. Alright, um, we can make a trash can and I'll 
a super crafting frame real quick just to uh, get a few things so a trash can is simply cobblestone regular stone and a chest can take care of that real quick eight of those I'll need three of those and I've got plenty of cobble on me okay got the trash can not sure if I need that but we'll uh, We'll put it here just in case. And I also want to make a super crafting frame. Just uh, doing some questing. Sticks around a crafting table. Four of those. I only have one stick. So let's, uh, let's make some more sticks, shall we? Here's the crafting table. Super crafting frame. And crafting frames are, are kind of cool because you can attach it to an inventory and uh, have it give you things. So for example, let's, let's get some planks and I'll put those in here. And if I shift click, uh, shift right click, I can give it a pattern. Okay, I'm going to come from player and inventory or inventory only. So now when I uh, not left click, there we go. Player and inventory, that's fun. When I right click it, I get that recipe. You can see there's four planks in there right click it again there's the sticks now there's two right and now there's none so it's automatically crafting what I asked for uh, from the inventory it's attached to which is kind of neat definitely uh, useful for certain things that we're going to be crafting a lot I'm thinking about uh, maybe crops or maybe sticks you know something like that that is just really repetitive Probably um, in the near future, I'll set that up. Ah, storing, we need ah, super item frame and super void frame as well. So an item frame is a dropper with sticks around it. A void frame is an ender pearl. Dropper is just cobble around redstone. I don't have any redstone right now. That's why I have the dust and sand uh, ready to go. So I'll grind that uh, first time I pause recording. We've got a void bag now. And I think that's just a kind of a portable trash can, which you know can be could be quite useful. I'll put that in the uh, this chest. And now on to Sky Farm. So I want to get into the seeds, and I need a seedalizer to do that. I think that's that guy there. To unlock that quest, um, a stone planter would not be a bad thing. I'll probably get into that, but I want to get a rake because one thing that's going to happen once we start um, expanding the seeds is we're going to get weeds. That's one way to uh, to get rid of them. You can rake them out. So to make a wooden hand rake. simply a fence with one stick, a fence being six sticks. So I need seven sticks. There we go. And we'll hold on to that fence because I'll probably need it at some point. Alright, so, got my rake, 
let's uh let's get some crop sticks and try to expand this sugar cane. Do I have a watering can? Yes I do. Not like that. And we're going to water it to increase the number of sticks. And we actually got sugarcane seeds, not um, weeds. So let's, uh, it's odd to be happy about not, not happy about getting weeds. Um, but I kind of wanted to use the rake. So let's just put a, a single there so they don't cross. And we will Great. Weeds. Weeds have sprouted here. That's not what I meant. Weeds. Okay. Right click and the weeds are gone. So that's one way to do it. You can also just break the stake and that'll get rid of them too. Not quite sure what the uh, advantage disadvantage is, but um, hey, the quest book wanted it. That's probably a good enough reason. All right, so the reward of brown mushroom spores and either 16 mushrooms or a reward bag. Well, the mushroom spores are going to get me mushrooms pretty quickly, so let's go with the reward bag. And we get four lamps. Okay. That's uh, potentially kind of cool. I like it. All right. We'll put the rest of it in there and uh, continue. All right. Next up. I'm going to put those mushroom spores uh, over here for the time being. Alright, now let's get the seed analyzer, or seed analyzer and the agricultural journal. So what we need to do here is um, basically build these things so we can see crop mutations. And uh, that's going to be kind of cool. So, an agricultural journal is crops a book and quill surrounded by different crops or seeds okay the book and quill is ink black floral powder wow there's quite a bit of stuff i'm gonna need to get to get this a feather Okay, that is not going to be as easy as I thought. Hmm. The seed analyzer is a little easier. Yes, yes it is. Alright, so um, a glass pane, some sticks, some uh, st a stone slab, a wood slab, and some planks. So, we can do that one. We need two of those, one of those, uh, we only have one glass, we'll have to work on that, and yes I do have a stone slab in here. So, it's the stone slab, the wood slab, the planks, the sticks, and now I need a glass pane. Let's cook down. How many do I need? For a glass pane, I need six glass blocks. I have one. Let's make five more. And while that's cooking, we'll go, uh, go see how this is going. We can harvest some things.
Alright. Still going. Let's see, we'll put that away, that away, and we'll keep the crops. There we go. All right. Let's make our glass panes. That should give us one seed analyzer. I am just going to set him right on top of there like that. That way I can access the crafting station or the seed analyzer. So let's see what that gives us. Uh, I'm going to break down. This is one of the wheat seeds that I got originally. So let's look at him. Oh, I don't have an agricultural journal, so I'm not going to actually get the results. Okay, that is not as easy as I was thinking, unfortunately. Okay, um, so let's see what all we've got to build for an agricultural journal. I've got the crops getting seeds. Looks like any seeds will work here. That's not a big deal, but this book and quill is going to be my problem. So I need any sort of black dye in here, a feather, and a book. The book is paper, string, and blank patterns, or paper and leather. Paper can be made with sugar cane. So it's really the feather and the ink is going to be a problem. Okay, I'm going to need to make something to spawn a squid and chickens. Okay, I'm going to pause and do that, and I'll be back in, uh, well, it'll be just a second on the video. Okay, everybody, that took a little longer than anticipated, but uh, I basically built a, built a small lake, and now I've just got to wait for squid to spawn in it. So it's sitting between uh, Y62 and Y56, which should be decent squid spawning area. I did put a door in the bottom. I extended the basement out. It's got windows. It's a nice lake. My lake has windows. Um, but anyway, that is uh, hopefully going to get us some squid in a few minutes. I've still got to figure out the chickens, but um, tired of tired of building that for right now. I was going to grind through some uh, some sand and gravel and dust while I was uh, waiting, but I thought um, one question that came up uh, when I was talking to somebody about this is how I grind through uh, with the hammer. This is how I typically do it. I, I usually lay out a 4x4 four four of whatever I'm going to be hammering, climbing as I go. If I do a 4x4x4, four by four by four, that basically means I doing a stack of whatever, and it's low enough that if I fall off, um, I'm not going to die. And that's a, uh, that's a good thing. So I used the stack of sand that I was planning to grind to make glass. So let's make another stack of sand. Four is also low enough that from the ground you can reach all of it. So that's a good thing. I'll be back to show the next step, the gravel. Okay, I'm back. I finished the stack of cobble to gravel. Now it's time to uh, hammer the gravel into sand, which is what I wanted. I did want to 
call attention that uh, at the top of the stack, typically it's going to be dark enough for mobs to spawn. Um, that's not really a problem as long as you're just doing a stack at a time. But if you get ambitious, for example, and decide to uh, to make a huge stack and then work through it, uh, you can you can have a nasty surprise coming down on you. Not that that's ever happened to me. Yeah, that has happened. Um, for gravel and sand, the blocks that will that will drop. What I tend to do is, like I just did, um, hammer two stacks down to the ground, and then set up with two stacks beside each other that I can just shift back and forth between. Uh, if you stay on the same stack, it's not quite as fast since you have to wait for it to drop. Right? There's a little bit of a, a lag in between. But if you're switching back and forth, I don't know, to me it just seems to go a little faster. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually timed it. But, uh, you know, it keeps it, uh, keeps you moving a little bit, keeps you doing something rather than just sitting there holding the button. And hopefully we're about done with this. I, uh, hoping in one of the, the next few episodes to automate the, uh, production of gravel, sand, and dust. I don't think I've quite got enough resources to build a, uh, a full automated ore processor yet, but, uh, that's, that's in the plan. Let's go check on my, uh, my squid situation to see if we've got anything good. Nothing yet. Um, hopefully, hopefully that'll happen soon. I'm going to grind through um, this stack of gravel, sand, and dust, and I will be back to, um, to show what I ended up with in my inventory. Back in a bit. Okay, back from grinding all that. Just to show you what's in each one. Okay, wow, it uh, totally reorganized my inventory when I closed it and reopened it. Well, that's really frustrating. So, the we already talked about the gravel gives you the broken ores. The sand gives you these crushed ores. So I'll go ahead and move them in. I'm just shift clicking since a lot of them are already in there. It'll automatically put them in the correct spot. Um, I think that's all the crushed. This the dust gives you the powdered ores. So it gives you powdered aluminum, nickel, silver. This is the stack that I've got silver in. Copper, tin, iron, lead. All right. So then there's these. The sand had the cactus seeds in them, the ancient spores in them, the cocoa beans, and that's it. Or, sorry, the uh, Certus Quartz crystals. The dust has, in addition to the metals, Skystone dust, Certus Quartz dust, blaze powder, bone meal, that's helpful, uh, gunpowder, glowstone dust, and redstone. So all of those things are really, really useful to us. What I'm going to do is just move all the uh, non-metals out of this chest. This this chest is going to be the metals chest. And I'm going to move all of the non-metals. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty
didn't quite do it. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Now I'll have to go uh, pick that stuff up. But, uh, oh well. At least aesthetically it, uh, it's not too bad. And then we'll put just like that. That actually doesn't look too bad. All right, let's put um, let's put this stuff back together, and then I can figure out. Let's see. I I had a melon seed planted. I have no idea. Let's see. There's melon seeds. I know I had a pumpkin seed planted. I had a, let's see, there's the lettuce, the melon, the pumpkin, the potato. I had carrot and wheat down as well. And we're going to need the mattock. And I'm not bothering with trying to crossbreed over here. This is just kind of maintaining some some food. Okay. I'm going to put the, the seeds over here. So melon seeds, uh, cocoa beans. Uh, the spores and the cactus seeds as well. And of course that goes in. So then over here we'll put... Um, Let's be optimistic and put um, the diamonds, the emeralds, coal, and the certus quartz in there. And we'll put the rest of this stuff into the others. So we'll put uh, bone meal, gunpowder, glowstone, redstone, appetite used for fertilizer, sort of quartz dust, flint, lapis, and skystone blocks. And I've got two more spots in case other things pop up. So that's kind of nice, having uh, all the non-metals hang out there. All the metals are in here. I'll um, Next time I take a break, go through those and hammer them down. But let's go check on our squid. See if we've got anything yet. Hmm. We have no squid. That is unfortunate. Um, I'm going to take a break and read the the spawning rules for squid and see if I mess something up somewhere because that's that entirely that could have happened. That could easily be uh, a problem. Back in a little bit. Okay everybody, I I must have done something wrong because um, let's see, I built a pond, built a, an area for hopefully some chickens or something to spawn in. Um, Although it's in the ocean biome, I haven't found any other biomes yet. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be, if chickens will be able to spawn there. Um, still don't have any squid. I'm I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So um, yeah, I'll figure that out after I finish recording this episode. Um, in the in the time remaining, I've got. Uh, more ores ready to go. Uh, this will be done in just a second. We'll throw the aluminum in. The iron is ready. Uh, we do have some crushed silver. That's good stuff. Still don't have any very much platinum, but that's pretty rare. And let's see. I do need to make some more dirt. 
So, um, you know, I'll work on that. Oh, good cactus. That'll uh, be helpful for green. And I'm thinking I might uh, set up that crafting frame to do dough for bread. I might, uh, that might be a good use for it. Did want to make one note. Uh, if you're paying attention, you'll note that I no longer have the auto repairing comfortable hatchet that I had before. I went ahead and made the uh, item frame and void frame. And item frames are, uh, you know, pretty, pretty normal. Yes, that is an item frame. You can put something on it. It looks very cool. It's not clear that you can take it in and out because it maybe that was just a Tinker's construct thing, but it it didn't seem to be. Um, let's try an, a vanilla item. Yeah, see, I kept it in inventory, so I'm not not entirely sure what its purpose is. Um, but the void frame, if you put something in it, let's pick that cobble, it's just gone. So yeah, be careful. Be very, very careful with, uh, with the void frame. And uh, that's about it. I'm just going to run through uh, this ore. I do need to make some more fuel pellets. I definitely need to get um, some automatic sifting going on because I am running out of coal. And I'm, I can always smelt with wood, but um, it seems like going backwards. Anyway, I've got to figure out what's going on. I'm definitely going to need to figure out how to spawn squid and chickens if I want to proceed with uh, with any agri-craft, which I would kind of like to do. Uh, if I can figure that out in between episodes, I'll do... Um, I'll do that next episode as I planned. If not, um, maybe uh, maybe a mob tower or something like that. I've been thinking about building a, a mob spawner to get some drops. But anyway, that'll be next time. Uh, thank you for joining. I, uh, I do apologize. This episode kind of uh, I had a plan and it, it just sort of fell apart on me. But I guess that happens from time to time. Hope... Uh, Hope it was interesting nonetheless, and uh, thank you for watching.